Coming up on the programme, Chris Coleman talks sartorial elegance. Alan Curtis talks sense. And Wrexham fans talk Wrexham and Wales. This is Wales. Historic. It's the only way to describe this episode of Eat, Sleep, Footy, Repeat, quite frankly. And Alex... It's a beautiful bumper edition with a very special guest coming up. Indeed, indeed, yes, that exclusive interview with Chris Coleman is still to come yes. in the programme. Gather, yes, gather, 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 I know, I know. It is another edition of Eat Sleep Frozen Repeat, and therefore it's another pub. And you join us in the Lansdowne in Cardiff. A I've, wonderful establishment. Oh, well, I'm thank fitting you very much right for having in. us. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's got herbs over the windows, my hipster beard is getting longer by the second. And I'm drinking a craft lager from Cornwall, which apparently was voted one of the best ever made. But we have haven't got time for that, no. no. Uh, first off, uh, well, I've been on my travels again. You have? I've been to North Wales, I've been to Wrexham. It's another club that is in fan ownership and is plotting its way back to the Football League, but not, of course, without a few bumps in the road. So I went along to find out what's what. Wrexham Association Football Club. Um, it's currently in the doldrums, but it's got a rich history. Um, but yeah, it's kind of difficult not to focus on the negative at the moment because we're down there. But you have hope. There's always hope. There's always hope. Yeah, yeah. there's always hope. This is a club that's is in charge of its own destiny. Absolutely. I think it was one of the best things we ever did that several years ago in the from that small dream of an idea, the fans got together and led by people like Peter Jones and uh, the rest, formed the trust. And I just think it's a marvellous idea. Mm -hmm. and I, it's worked for me. My best highlights actually um, watching Wales beat England 4 1 here on the race course, of which I was a ball boy. And that was a good highlight. But yet again, we beat England, I think, the year after, was it 1 0? Um, for Wrexham, possibly getting to the quarter final of the FA Cup, Chesterfield. Cheer up, right? Give me, give me, give me a moment. Give me a positive moment. Give me a something that you you remember as as a kid or as now later on that you go, do you know, that was a good day. Uh, the, the obvious one is is Arsenal. Um, you were even old enough for that. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was there. I was, I was stuck on the cock when it was open back then. Um, I can't remember how old I was, was it 19? It was the 25th anniversary next January, so whatever that is, 37. Um, I was there that day, it was great. Um, we were bottom of the league, Arsenal were the league champions. We somehow won. One of the great giant killings of all time. Um, so I've got that to hold on to, which has kept me sane over the years. Turn, turn it back to the 4-1, uh, take it back to being a ball boy here. Yeah. Take it through the day. What was it? What was it? The, the day? Well, being a, being a young 14-year-old as I was then, and you've got American um, core girls on the, the ground. I mean, obviously my eyes were wandering, but, uh, but as regards to football, you know, you met, you met it with all the England players, all the Welsh players, got the autographs mingled. It was good. It was good. good. Not many people can say they've done that, you know. Sparky, you've seen Sparky here? I certainly have. Uh, of course, he's a local lad anyway. He was a youngster. He, he, was, uh, he used to sound the cop, but... Uh, I was at the game when Wales beat Spain 3 0, and he scored that fantastic uh, volley up the cop end. Just, uh, I, I was standing on the cop, and uh, I can't remember the crowd, but it was pretty, pretty crowded, uh, probably upwards of 30,000, I think. Uh, I just remember the cross going over, and he, he left from nowhere, and he just he flew in the back of the net. It was one of the best goals I've ever seen. Marvellous, marvellous. Thank you very much to the guys at Wrexham and to Fearless in Devotion himself for, uh, well, it was a fabulous afternoon, really. Yeah, well, they took you to the pub. You can't really argue with that. Can't and you saw that. a 2-1 win. Happy indeed, days. indeed. Happy days. Now, we're not saying that, because I've been to Merthyr and I've been to Wrexham you have. now. Yep. Both teams have won. Two games. Two, two wins. wins. I'm not saying that I'm a lucky charm or something, but there is a correlation. Yeah. You can't deny that. So if your team is struggling, if your team doesn't know where to turn next, you do now. You turn to East League Footy Repeat, drop us an email, drop us a text, drop us a, a Facebook or WhatsApp, whatever, and we'll be there. Well, at least we'll. I probably won't. Because you're the lucky charm, really, aren't you? Yes, it's me. It has to be me. It's all down to you. 
Right, blowing their Barry Horns time. That's where we find the best Welsh footy fan news on the web and peddle it as if it was our own. Indeed, yes. And we start with at Chop Iced at 75, a.k.a. Graham Edwards. And Graham, do get a grown-up Twitter account, please. But he did post some excellent pics of Clement Boys Town under nines taking after their heroes and properly mucking up a perfectly decent team photo. Hashtag, we stand where we want. Now, Florian Janosvic is from Austria, but we don't hold that against him as he had so much love for the 4,000 Wales fans who belted out the national anthem before the 2-2 draw in Vienna. Thank you, Sean, Florian. Fan Embassy Wales are drumming up support for Wales in the UEFA Under-19s tournament, which is taking place in North Wales next month. Games against Greece, England and Luxembourg in Wrexham and Bangor. Check out the FAW website for more deets. Free entry as well. Free entry. Got to get involved in that. And finally, peace and love to the Barry Horns, who've been creamed off uh, over this ad. We're Ambrosia, which sounds and looks suspiciously familiar. Devon knows where they got that idea from. Oh, ah, that thank you. Excellent stuff, excellent stuff as always. Now, if you spot something you think is worthy of blowing a Barry Horn about, then do, of course, let us know. Indeed, indeed. Right, so we've been to the race course ground. What a wonderful time. And we've also been to Swansea's Guild Hall for the gaffer's very special moment. And who better to send along to rub shoulders with the very creme de la creme of Swansea Civic Society? You know it. This is Wales. You join me in Swansea, outside the beautiful Guild Hall, where Chris Coleman has just been given the freedom of the city. Look, I put a suit on and everything. The great and the good of Swansea Civic Society are here. I've seen Chris Coleman, I've seen Alan Curtis, I've seen Ragsy off of The Voice. He's here. So let's go in and see what's what. <laughs> Very esteemed guest, very esteemed guest. Welcome to uh, Eastleigh Fudge Repeat, the Lord Mayor of Swansea City, David Hopkins. Hello. Hello there. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Some lovely bling you've got going on there, uh, I have to say. It's beyond it was a great privilege to wear it. Yes. It's a proud city, but I'm proud to put this on. Now, um, David, David has a little confession to make because he didn't. Well, you didn't actually tell the council that you wanted to do it, did you? No, sorry. What, what happened was I thought I'd use the opportunity. Um, I spoke to the leader on the quiet and thought, we can't waste this opportunity. Strike while the iron's hot. To be honest with you, you can feel the pride within the city. Everybody's got behind the city with, with this highest accolade of, of giving Chris the highest honour we can give him is the freedom of the city. We don't give it out normally. It's something to be very careful of because the minute you, you devalue it by giving it to too many people. So we are very restrictive of who has this honour. Alan Curtis. It's Alan Curtis. I'm chuffed to bits. I really am. It's been a long time since I've seen Alan Curtis. Alan is uh, taking a break from being the part-time manager of Swansea, of course, because they've got a full-time one again. Uh, and you've come here to uh, uh, celebrate Chris Coleman this evening. That's a, that's a fair, it's a nice honour to do for uh, for the city to do for him. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm delighted for Chris. I mean, I've known Chris for obviously for a long, very long time. Uh, and, and speaking to him earlier, he's, he's absolutely delighted. And I, I'm really pleased, you know, pleased for, for him and his family. Uh, because he's, you know, he's, he's a terrific character, and he's been, uh, you know, he's, he's he's obviously been a huge ambassador for the city of Swansea. Chris Coleman. Chris Coleman, welcome to Eat Sleep Forty Repeat. Uh, first off, it's a beautiful suit. I've got to say it. Oh, thank you. That's, yeah, that's my, son, my son's got his eye on it. I think after I've wore this tonight, they'll be giving it to him. It's one of those suits. I think you can wear it once. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, it's a little bit bright and lively. So yes, I'll, it is. I'll give it to my boy after. Well, yeah. you picked a night to wear, to wear it, haven't you? Really, a yeah. proud night. Yeah, proud night, special night. Um, overwhelmed, really. You know, I wasn't expecting um, any of it to be here and to see the work and effort that's gone into it. Just, just for me, um, you know, it, it makes you feel a little bit special. So, uh, yes, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Two things that shaped me was my early days in Swansea, my my upbringing, and then I think having children. So I'm really lucky in those 
in those terms because you, uh, me as a sportsman you, you have good days and bad days and people come and go but good people that are around you for the right reasons they always remain I think, I think you're absolutely right there's a lot of wisdom that comes from you Chris I think in the Euro 2016 every time you said something everybody just nodded their head and went God that's amazing yeah where has all this come from I mean it's just it just seems people you just make sense <laughs> I think you get you uh, as you get older, you start you start to realise that you know what certain things are not as important as you thought they were. And football is my life, it's my industry, but compared to my children and you know my wife and my family, it doesn't compare. So whatever I've whatever I said during the tournament, I've said it from the heart because I can safely say I've seen both sides of the coin. I've had it good and I've had it bad. My, my father always said, you're never as good as what people say you are, and you're never as bad as what people say you are. Stay in the middle, nice and safe, and that's where I try to stay, so I try not to get carried away. It's hard for me tonight not to get carried away, because what they've done for me here is incredible. But I, try, I always try to stay in the safe zone. Well, listen, that wraps us up, I think, for this episode. What a great episode. It's been, I'm sure you'll agree with that. Uh, but we have one more wonderful thing to show you. Big news. We go. Big, big, big news. news. Big news. Check this out from the Arsenal Twitter feed. Look at that. Aaron, back in action now. Beautiful to see. Beautiful for her fans wonderful, everywhere. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, um, just make sure you go a bit careful on uh, our Aaron over the next few weeks, Mr. Wenger, please, as um, we really do need him. And I really think that is actually it this time. Uh, that's a wrap, Alex. It's been another wonderful action packed show. Barnstorming. 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 Now, do please share, like, retweet all of that. This is a show for fans, with fans, to fans, around fans. Um, so, uh, your support is much, much, it much is appreciated. Yeah, yes, otherwise, what it is, is just two awkward looking guys talking to a camera in a pub. It is very awkward and not at all embarrassing in the slightest. But well, that's it from us. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>